we're back. It's been a while. Last time I was here was Tottenham. It feels like it was three months ago. It feels like absolutely ages. It's beautiful to see it back in all its glory, in the sun as well. It's just absolutely beautiful. You can see like the corners of the ground as well. You can see inside and just, just makes me a bit sad. But hopefully we'll be back here very soon. Probably not for a long time, but even still, it's good to be here. Hey Simon, Hello. from a distance, from a distance, two meters. How are we finding not, not being at the villa every week? Pretty depressing, isn't it? Really? It's sad. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to all start up again. The only closing there was, but I don't know. I'll miss it. We'll be back. We'll be back, of course we will. Good lads. Right, morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video. We are here. It's been three months, I think. I think the last time I was here was Tottenham at home, and that was like middle of Feb, so that feels like absolute years ago. As you would have seen, I just had a quick walk around the stadium. It makes me really sad, like even when I was coming in on the motorway and you could just see it in all its glory and the sunshine. It's really sad, it is really sad, but um, today I'm just here for a little general chat basically about football, what's going on um, in England, Germany, Spain, um, you know how it is. So get yourself a cup of tea, sit down, it's just a general chat, haven't got too many notes. Of course as well, quick plug just before we get on to the video, quick shout out to Luke Roper, uh, link in the description to the new Dapper Villain range, 30% uh, of all proceeds are going to the University uh, of Birmingham uh, Hospitals, so fantastic cause. Any other items as well, max 30 for 30% off, you know how it is. Um, but without further ado, on to the football. A year ago, as I'm filming, like we were getting ready for the playoff final, and then fast forward a year, we're 19th in the Premier League. And it's just, a, it's just an absolute mess how we are. I know it is sad, it is annoying, but we've got to do what we've got to do. Hopefully we'll be back here very soon, but to be honest, it's not really looking too good. So in the first part of this video, I'm going to talk about football that actually has come back in Germany now. Is anybody watching it? Let me know in the comments. Are you watching it? Do you have a favourite team? I think for me, I think the, you know, the stereotypical, oh, you've got to go for Borussia Dortmund because of Sancho, Haaland, you know, etc. They've got a lot of good players, but I'm supporting Bayer Leverkusen um, because my German exchange partner did when I went there back in the day. So I look out for their results. There's a lot of hype around it last week when it first came back, but it died down, didn't it? Like it was back this weekend and no one was really asked about it. Like no one was talking about it, which is a little bit annoying, but I can kind of see where it's coming from because there was hype around it. And when you actually sit down and watch it, um, it's pretty boring. Like, obviously there's no fans, and it's ju it just feels like a training ground sort of game. There's no intensity, it sort of feels like the players are at 80, 90%. They're not fully there, which I kind of get because yes, they haven't played football competitively for two or three months, so obviously it's gonna take you time to get back in the sort of match fitness sort of thing, but it's not the best to watch. Even Dortmund Schalke last week, that's probably the biggest, you know, biggest derby in Germany, just felt flat. It felt like, you know, it could have been anyone wearing them shirts. Like, without the fans, it's just, it's really not very good. It's not great to watch, but am I still watching it? Yes, because there's nothing else on, and at the end of the day, it's football. Quick shout out to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Obviously, fans aren't allowed in the stadium, so what they've done with the cardboard cutouts is uh, very good. Basically, fans of Mönchengladbach could, you know, pay a little bit of money to have their sort of face um, in the stadium, and that money went to charity. So it's a good way to make money for charity, and it just looks quite good as well. I was watching it on TV, um, and it just, it just, it looked a little bit more realistic. So obviously, they can't make too much noise clearly but it just looks looks a little bit more normal which brings me on to a couple of proposals in the Premier League where I think West Ham uh, fans have proposed putting their faces on the big screen over zoom during games what could possibly go wrong but anyway back to German football I think there was an iconic picture of Haaland when he was celebrating against Schalke and no one was celebrating with him it was just really weird obviously players on the bench aren't allowed to sit next to each other so they're all spaced out with masks on yet players can you know spit everywhere on the pitch and you know tussle with each other from corner so I don't really get that but obviously you can't play football without players sort of getting near each other but it's just weird. Like when you sit down and watch it, it is just weird. It's so strange to watch. Obviously, I think Spain have announced in the last few days that they're trying to return to Liga in the I think it's 8th of June they're coming back. So next couple of weeks probably. But yeah, for England, I'm gonna talk about Villa now. <sighs> What's going on? If you follow Villa on social media and stuff, they've been posting uh, pictures this week. Saw Dean Dino back in training, uh, Grealish, Mings, pretty much everyone. Um, so they're sort of training in groups of five, I believe it is. No contacts, obviously socially distancing like they should. Um, but it's just strange, isn't it? And it is good because you can get back into the feel of things. You can go back into body more heat and it feels a little bit more normal. You can get a feel for the ball again. Um, but with no contact, it's not, it's, not, it's not proper, is it? It's not proper training. But I think I was listening to, uh, five live um i think it was last week matt target did an interview and he was saying like 
it's going to take five or six weeks to players for players to get fully fit and even then you know first game back they're still not going to be match fit um so even you know five or six weeks like matt target said that's going to take you to july now so the premier league have got a lot of thinking to do apologies if you can hear the wind as well by the way i'm obviously outside it's a lovely day but the wind's a bit mad um but anyway i'm going to talk about tyro mings because i like what he's been doing on twitter recently he's been pretty active um on twitter i think he's talked about you shouldn't read um you shouldn't believe anything in the press where he's talked about 40 minute halves playing in australia playing in a mask playing without slide tackles whatever it is um, so it's quite refreshing to see a player fully sort of have a go at the media um, and say look if it's not safe and we can't play properly just don't bring it back but another Premier League news um, Troy Deeney now I'm not the biggest fan of Troy Deeney as many Villa fans aren't Deeney what's the score Deeney Deeney what's the score Deeney what's the score Deeney Deeney what's the score but you've got to give him credit for what he's done. If you don't know, basically he said, I'm not going back to Watford training because I've got um, a five-month-old son and he's got breathing difficulties. And look, I don't, I don't like Troy Deeney, but you've got to give him credit there. I'm fully behind him on what he said there, like fair play to him. Because yes, he, he's Watford's captain and they're in a relegation scrap, so it's not going to be easy for them. But if, you've, if it's a threat to life and you've got a son at home who's very young and he's got breathing difficulties, I'm fully with Troy Deeney. I think N'Golo Kante as well has said that he doesn't want to go back to uh, Chelsea training. Again, fair play to him. If you don't feel safe, I don't think you should be going into work. And oh, it's, it's such a weird one. Like, it's unprecedented times, as everyone keeps on saying, but it's just strange, really strange. On a slightly more entertaining note, um, all the pictures obviously coming back from training, the players' haircuts. I've got a bit out of control. I think Grealish's beard is a bit mental. His hair's a bit mad. Um, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Roberto Firmino, N'Golo Kante, Sadio Mane is my favourite because what's happened there? Just shave it off, fella. But yeah, that's pretty much it from me. It's just been a sort of general chat. Um, leave your thoughts on what should be going on. Will football return in June in terms of the English Premier League, will Villa be playing here? Will they be playing in neutral venues? I really don't know, but leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. I'm meant to be meeting Simon um, in a little bit, so I might get him on the video. Obviously from a distance, two meters, socially distancing, it has to be done. Um, so yeah, if you haven't enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Um, up the villa. <laughs>